Sanders followed by the uh, Wildcat Mark II and the Merlin Mark II. Four Apaches and one Wildcat. Three Vast Chinooks and a Puma. Now we're looking for the next sequence which is the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. And we have a Lancaster, unmistakable. We have a Spitfire and we have two Hurricanes, all of them from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. They're just flying over Horse Guards Parade right now, so they'll be at the palace within a matter of seconds. Prince of Wales explaining to Prince George exactly what was going on. And there we have the three Hercules. And they're being celebrated today because they're being retired after decades of service. At least the Hercules as a, as a model. The latest one, the C-130J. They put in decades of work in supporting moving troops and equipment. C-17 Globemaster. Princess Charlotte enjoying the flight fast. The Voyager and the Atlas. Six of the F thirty five B Lightnings. There they come, they're just crossing Central London and Horse Guards Parade now. And they'll be at Buckingham Palace within a second or two.
not finished. We have one envoy, CC1, and then we have, do I need to tell you? The red arrows to bring everything to a magnificent conclusion in red, white, and blue for King Charles III on his first birthday. Greeting the crowd here on this uh, day of the birthday parade. And there you have Prince of Wales on the left with the Princess of Wales, Princess Charlotte, following her grandfather into Buckingham Palace. All the crowd who enjoyed not just the parade and the music, but of course that great fly past the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess of Edinburgh following into the palace itself. And a last word from Robert Hart. I think, just very pleased, as I said earlier, this is one of the key sort of first moments of, of one's reign. You know, it's your first birthday parade. It's gone extremely well. It's also, it's a first uh, birthday parade for the new Prince and Princess of Wales, for the, for the new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. We've seen a lot of change encapsulated in that scene on the balcony, but at the same time, uh, some things, as we've said all through this, Hugh, some things never change. The enduring horses. Well, don't forget, uh, you can see the highlights of the day's events. Uh, Major Vicky Fraser, Robert Hardman, all of us here on the BBC team. Thank you for watching and goodbye.